Hi, third graders. It's Mrs. Moan, and I'm going to teach you about how to picture a division problem. So let's get started. I'm going to give you two examples to start with. The first one is there are 20 children in art class. If four children can sit at each table, how many tables do they need? <clears throat> so yesterday we had, we made a race where we knew how many rows and how many columns and we had to find the main answer. Z today we're gonna do the opposite. We start with our main answer or how many total and then we have to divide them into the rows and the columns. So we are starting with 20 children. Each child, I mean, each table can hold four children. So here's a table and I can have four people here. One, two, three, four. Here's a table and it can hold four more. So I'm gonna say five, six, seven, eight. Here's a table. It can hold four more. So I add eight here. Nine, 10, 11, 12. I should keep going because remember I have 20 children. Another table, I get it 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, do I need another table? I do because there's 20 children. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I can stop because all 20 children are now sitting at a table. So let's count how many tables I needed. I have one table, two, three, four, five. Five tables, 20 divided by four equals five. Okay, my next problem is we have the same 20 children. However, now they can sit six children at each table. Well, let's see. I'm gonna draw again my tables. I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger this time because I can sit six people. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I need another table because I'm going to 20. kids seated and remember I need 20 children to be seated at a table so although this table is not going to be full I still need this table for these two kids so I have 19 oops and 20 19 and 20 so how many tables do I need one two three four I have lots of extra space at this table, but I still need my four tables. Okay, I want to show you another way that you could work these problems. This child has, here's their four kids at each table. So it shows one, two, three, four, five tables just like what I have found. This is the picture that this child made for 20 children sitting at six children at each table. So they put six chairs and circled it for a table. They put six more chairs and circled it for a table. They put six more chairs and circled it for the table. But look, we have these two. So remember, they still need a table to sit at. 
So they need a total of four tables in the music class. Okay, so now it is your turn. So you're gonna turn to page 50 in your journal, volume one, page 50. I'll give you a minute to get, that's open, page 50. And we, it tells us right here, we're gonna solve the problem below. Use drawings, numbers, and words to show your thinking. Here's our problem. Lee and Matthew share 14 pennies equally. How many pennies does each child get? Okay, so we have 14 pennies and we're sharing them between two people, Leah and Matthew. Okay, I want you to pause the video and I want you to work it on your own and then come back and I will show you how I worked it. Okay, you can pause and then come back. So I have Leah and Matthew. We have 14 pennies and we need to share them equally. So I'm gonna draw a line. So I have one penny, two pennies, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So, how many does each child get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They both get, our answer down here at the bottom, they both get four, or I'm sorry, seven pennies. Each child gets seven pennies. So 14 divided by two equals seven. Okay, boys and girls, you're going to go do the rest of your math assignment, and I hope this helped you figure out how to picture division. Good luck.